Good evening, and welcome to Thursday Compline with St. Mary's Episcopal Church in Dade City, Florida. We thank you for joining us this evening and remind you that our Compline service is guided by the Mission St. Clair app, or you can follow along with us using the Book of Common Prayer, and an order of service was sent out earlier this evening. As always, we invite you to leave us a comment or reaction so that we know that you are here praying with us, so that we can pray with and for you. Let us pray. The Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you through our own fault, in thought and word and deed, and in what we have left undone. For the sake of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. May the Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm this evening is Psalm number 31. We will say this together. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my strong rock, a castle to keep me safe, for you are my crag and my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that they have secretly set for me, for you are my tower of strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Matthew chapter 11. Thanks be to God. Please join me now as we say together the prayer responses. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Keep us, O Lord, as the apple of your eye. Hide us under the shadow of your wings. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us now say together the prayer that our Lord and Savior taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer, and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this life may rest in your eternal changelessness through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O God, your unfailing providence sustains the world we live in and the life we live. Watch over those both night and day who work while others sleep 
and grant that we may never forget that our common life depends upon each other's toil. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now pray for our own needs and those of others. Gracious God, I do lift up to you St. Mary's Episcopal Church and her people, beseeching you to guide, guard, and protect us and give us your grace and blessing as we do your ministry in this place. We lift up to you all of those on our parish prayer list, those preparing for or recovering from surgeries and procedures, those with need of ongoing care and healing, and those with urgent need this day. Are there those to be named? John, Butch, Gail, the Hardy family. And gracious God, I lift up to you this day, Sharon, Casey and Crawford, Jessica and Kate. I pray for Sue, for David, for Kelly, for Becky and Mike for Alexa and Lauren, for David and John. I pray for Enid and I pray for Jan. Gracious God, I lift up to you, Bob, Dee and Adam, Haley, Morgan and Emma, Bo and Patty, Kevin and Cindy, Kyle, Jordan, Jamie and Ryan. Are there others to be named? Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us now say together the song of Simeon. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior, whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ and asleep we may rest in peace. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. In the almighty and merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us. Amen. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you and upon you this day and forevermore. Amen. My brothers and sisters in Christ, we thank you for joining us this Thursday evening for our quiet service of Compline. As always, we invite you to our Sunday services of worship and praise at 7.45 and 10 o'clock. This week, however, with Christmas services, we will have one nine o'clock service on Sunday to celebrate Advent 4. Then on Christmas Eve at 5.30, we will have lessons and carols, followed by our Holy Eucharist Christmas Mass at six o'clock. Then there will be a quiet Christmas Mass on Monday morning at 10 o'clock. Once again, I beseech you to take care of yourselves. Show yourself self-care physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. Reach out to someone you love. See how you might be a help to them. Call someone you haven't talked to in a while. You might be the only voice they hear this day. My brothers and sisters in Christ, I wish you a good evening. May God be with you this night and always.